Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the Season 5 finale of the Hawk IFC Creator Cup career in FIFA 22. We are coming to the end of our first ever Premier League season in our club history. At the moment we sit uh, in a nice 11th spot. It's not been an easy season at all, but you know what? It could have been a lot, lot worse. And oh my god, do you know what? Arsenal could generally get relegated still. Who are they facing? Oh my god. <laughs> Arsenal are facing City. And if if they lose and and full what who are Fulham playing? Fulham are playing Tottenham. Uh, if to, if Fulham gets something out of Tottenham, Arsenal could go down. It's between that oh I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. But to be honest, then again, there is still four games to go, so could all so that can still all change. But anyway, <coughs> enough of all them. So in our last month of the Premier League, we actually have a, an okay end to the start of the end of the season. So probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably simulate these first two games here because I've already played Newcastle this this season, and Forest are quite low down. Probably gonna play the Fulham game. Just for Fulham. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna. So we're playing Fulham. Uh, probably gonna play that, and then we're gonna play the away game against Leicester to finish the season. Again, probably one of these. I'll probably play a bit of a rotated side, give a little bit of a chance to the other lads. But anyway, let's get on with this episode. Uh, so against Nuts Forest, I'm gonna put my best team out there. Hope, hopefully, we can just get a good win to start off the episode. Yes, we do. Ah, oh, but Cash gets a bloody. Red card. Cornu gets a brace, and Gavi. Wow, Cornu comes off the bench, and that's well, well, well done, Cornu. Do you know what? He's actually been an all right backup striker for me. Like for the last few years, I I've not really needed one, but a few times this season, I feel like I needed him. And wow, we jumped straight up to eighth. We could be up to seventh for with another win. Ah, oh, I mean we can't go any higher than that. I don't know. I don't know what space is for the conference league. Oh, we got a home game against Fulham, but they're a lot lower down. Newcastle are trying to finish as toppers, and I don't want to risk us losing this. So I'm gonna probably play this one. Cash is going to be out, so Cool Bar is going to come in for this one. Oh, for Christ's sake! I hate this fucking glitch. It's so annoying. Um, okay. So I have to do this. Oh, uh, you know what? <laughs> Can't be asked. Cause I'm, I'm gonna have to do it again. Whatever. Right. Let's let's simulate this one and just hope for the best. We will just play a fun game. We need to fix our glitch badly. And we win anyway. Right again gets a a winner. Wow. On your DK and Akuna. Akuna could have got another goal. But Akuna's done alright this season. I think he just needs to. I think he's had to do a lot himself, but again, I do expect a little bit better from my striker at times. He, d he does go missing a lot for me, but again, uh, we've relied on him so much, and he sets the standard. I mean, I can't really have a go at him. He's, he's top of the, of the Premier League goal scorer. He could win a golden boot. I think it, that of me, he's, scored, he's, at, he's won like four golden boots in a row in every league he's been in. That's just like another level of, of striker. Uh, okay, buddy. I, I hate when players do it. I don't want to. I want to just let him his contract because he's not going to play. I don't know why he, he, keep, he keep asking me to do it. Here we go. Last home game of the season. And just to let you know, we are due to our finishing that's already sealed, but we're going to be staying up in the Prem. We have got an upgrade. We have also got a new stand being built in the summer while we are away on pre-season. So just to let you know, that is going to be a little upgrade to the stadium. We're going to be building up even more. I still think the stadium's bitching, but I feel like it could be better. We want to hold more fans because we're building our fan base. We're building our community. Look at that. Here we are. Jackson Park and starts and goal for us today. Cooler Bali and Ebersale coming to our back four. Onyedika and Montez coming to partner with Vincent. Amadiala, Cornu and Deplau is the front three. 
I've also got Mason Gilbert, one of our youngsters on the bench. Uh, James Wright as well. A lot of youngsters on there. I just wanted to have a half and half good team, bad team. Well, not bad team. Half, half a good team who I, I can rely on, as well as others who don't get a chance as often. Uh, Terence Congola, I recognise. Not, don't recognise anyone. Charles Ben Onoma, I recognise. Lazara, Wilson, and Brumer, and Ponce. I know they had a bloody. Was it at Bardaria or whatever his name is? They, he scored like four against us in the last. in like a game in the cup ages ago, like in League One. I mean, that wasn't that many episodes ago, but it felt like an age ago for me. Let's see if we can get off to a good start in this episode for us, and playing wise. Well, Kijan Hoover can't quite get that ball through. Wow, what a save by Parkin. Jesus Christ, not the best to start, so lads. Montez, finish it! Yes! We shouldn't be ahead, but we are. That is what I want. We don't give up. That is what I love you about, you lads. And Montez. Again, with the signs we've made, it's sort of been out for the second half of the season. But either way, he puts that one away. He was putting them away in League 1 and 2. Like, hell, he was a, such a great finisher. He just sort of lost it in Championship and the Prem, but... He can still put one away when he wants to. Oh, thank God Wilson mishit that. Shit. Wow. This guy is insane. We have been blessed with goalkeepers in this in this fucking save. It's a very, very clever piece of play. Oh my god! And my Diallo did brilliantly there. And he gets fucking ruined because some dickhead runs into him. Oh my god! Why are you all so slow on the ball? Oh, but fucking Woods there to clean up your shit again. How many times are we going to say that today? That is just a beautiful goal. He is amazing. I am actually in love with Mad Diallo. That is a really sexy goal. Look at that. Then Monte just wait for him to get past... Just as he's about to hit that last defender, I hit that pass. It's inch perfect. Again, we nearly can see, but Parkin saves our arse. Wood just saved our arse then. That, again, is great defending by Wood. Oh, the plow has been sent away here. Uh, Good volley, but you can't quite make of it. So I'm actually going to bring Gilbert, uh, the Gil Gilbert, onto it for his debut. Kill Kill Bali! Yes, we finally score a, a bloody corner, and it's the big man call of Bali, possibly his first Hawk IFC goal. Get in there. The good delivery there from the plow. So right in the middle. On the button. And now they're really good at it. Gilbert. Watch it. What a goal! the moment he's been working for for years since he came to the club and that is one of his first touches 
and he scores his first Hawkeye FC goal uh, at the home fan. Wow, he's a great turn by the lad as well. And that is a great finish. Gilbert, you take a bow, son. I'm very, very proud of you. Oh my God, Parkin, you are insane, brother. You are absolutely insane. Come on, blow out whistle. Yes, 4 0. What a way to end a home season here. We've got one more game to play away at Leicester. Hopefully, we can get a win now as well. That'd be a great way to end the season. Gilbert getting his first senior goal. A mad Diallo, a mad goal. Brilliant, brilliant work. And we dismantled Fulham at home. Let's go. So I'll take that. I always love getting a youngster on and letting them score. Especially when it's like that. Gilbert, he actually did really well when he came on. Connu had a bit of a quiet day, so it was well worth. He's really grown a lot. He's got a really good potential as well. Uh, Guerra and Matheson want to get up, so we'll get them out. We're actually seventh now. We've jumped Leeds United. So, all for us is to play for is us just keeping our seventh spot. What I'm hoping possibly will be some kind of European football. What is If we get that, that is just a magical. Um, but for this one, I'm going to keep my best team out there. Hey, Deprow's gone up to the 76th. That's a really great to see. Gory's going up to 78. What's well, really great to see. Uh, apart from that, going to keep the best team out there. Uh, obviously, it's the last one. Last time I'm going to be able to whack it out. So, let's get the away kit out. We'll let them play in their usual blue. I'm sure, I'm sure that's fine. But anyway, this is a good team. So, we need to make sure... We give it our best shot. We played very well against Fulham. We got a bit lucky though, so we need to try and tighten it up. Let's see if we can get another win to end the season. Let's go. Here we go, lads. Last Premier League game of the season. The last game of the season at all. What a season it's been. What an experience. Our first ever Premier League season. And we survived it, but also we thrived in it. We've not done any, we've not won any titles, we've not got Champions League or anything, but what we have done, we've hung with some of the best. We've had some bad, bad games, we've had some bad, bad months, but if you look at that, if we win today, or at least keep our seventh spot, we, oh my God, I just saw Arsenal are in the relegation zone, so they must have lost the game, and even though we beat Fulham last game, they have gone above them. Holy crap. Oh my God, I can't wait to see this. We'll have to check it out after this game, guys. But here we are at a King Power Stadium. Best team out there for this one. We beat Fulham with virtually a very rotated team. Hopefully, we should be able to do the job with our best team out there. Our Thomas, former Leicester player. Oh, I mean, the wafer comes in hard on Thomas. Just line one up there. He just saw a little bit of a gap. <coughs> oh, come on then there. Oh, I need. Amos makes a great save and he just bobbles off the mirror and he puts it in the fucking. Crudest of angles. Of course, that's going to sit up perfectly for him. Look at that, how quickly that comes down to the ground for him to hit it. And, but where is Kuto? He's nowhere to be fucking seen. He's coming to a setup position. He's left his man. Young yeah, Kuto has got a lot of space out there. Oh! 
Great, a great finish by the plow. Take a bow, you lads. That's a great pick up by Jan Kuto as well. He's made up for that goal he, uh, he messed up on. And we hit back straight away. Great, great attacking play. Look about just across the ground. And now, what a finish. That is a stunning finish by the plow. What a play. If he just keeps going the way he is, he is going to be an amazing player. Oh, just got there. Oh my god, what a touch. Oh, this is brilliant play. What a pass. Oh, I'm lucky. Right, Amos, how are you getting beat there? I really want to know how are you getting beat at your near post like that? But what? Where? What is this from fucking Thomas? What? The one place I don't want you to put it, you put it against your old teammate. Fucking hell, mate. Fuck my life, this Thomas Solomon's fucking quick. Oh, fuck off, dude. This Solomon guy, look at that, he's just, it's three straight passes along the goal line until they get somewhere. Get out, Gavi. Good lad. Early goal back. That's what we needed. Right, Thomas, what the fuck are you doing, lad? Right, Thomas, what are you doing? He's just running right past you. What are you doing? That is fucking the worst defending I've ever seen in my life. I'm getting fucking sick. He's fucking getting absolutely trounced down there, Thomas. Of course we're not going to win that fucking header. Oh my god! Get off, Thomas! Get off! I am... You're done. You are done. You are fucking done. Get the fuck off. Get off now. I swear to god. Get off. You are fucking done, mate. Fucking get off. Fucking three times you've been done down that fucking wing. Fucking... You're done tonight. You're done. Get the fuck off, you bald twat. You fucking twat. Why did I go near post? Fuck's sake, Akuna! You've been shit today! Fucking not how I want to end a fucking season! Getting fucking battered by you, fucking Leicester! Lucky, but we got it. You filthy fucking prick. You filthy fucking man bum prat.
I am fucking... Do you know what? The one player who's to blame for all of that is fucking Thomas. I hope he's fucking... He has a wonderful fucking summer because that was an absolute disgrace. And I'm not being funny. Just because of that, that fucking Solomon is possibly going to be the one fucking target I go for next year. Seeming he's just fucking destroyed me two games in a row. Fucking hell, Thomas. Just, he just didn't fucking go with him. Absolutely disgraceful, Thomas. I mean, thankfully, Lee's look like he lost, so. <coughs> oh, we are the luckiest people in the world. Lee's must have lost, so they've... Do you know what, though? Fuck my life. Thomas disappointed me. And I'm not in front of you. I, t I, I was serious about possibly signing Solomon next year. Because I've actually got him in my shortlist. Where is he? Uh, he's somewhere. Where is he? He is... There. He can play right and left. So, you know what? I actually somewhat need a left mid to be back up for Depau. Or even be Depau's um, player who's in for him first. And then Depau can be his backup. He can play all in that midfield. So, he'd be... A, to be honest, he'd be a great bench player, if I'm honest. But obviously, being my first team, how many times he destroyed me? I can't believe it. He he just destroyed me. He he single-handedly destroyed me in that game. But either way, we'll move on. We finished seventh. I, I don't know what that means for us in European senses. We'll have to find out next year. I don't I don't think it'll tell us. Uh, team of tournament, anything? I don't think we'd have made, any of our players would have made it. Probably Kuna, I would have thought, because of his goals, but that's about it. Then again, Martial, fuck's sake. Oh my god, a Kuna did get... <laughs> Martial's not in it. Wow, Gavi's in there as well. Wow, we'll have two players. Kuna, Martial actually just beat him because of them two goals. I think they were level on, on goals, I think, actually. Uh, we'll see how many. 22. As far as I was aware, yeah, I think he's on 20. For fuck's sake. John Picks is playing. Is there? Is Goggy really here? Wow. Acuna gets player of the tournament, so I can't really have a go at him that much. But, can't, I can't tell. It doesn't say anything about what um, any European football, so I don't have a clue what we've got and what we've not got. So, we'll just simulate a little bit ahead just so I can. Uh, just so when uh, I can show you all the tournament wins and all that stuff. Okay. So now we're somewhere just before you obviously do all your end of the season shit. So I'll <coughs> I'll let you know what all the standings are and all the trophies. I do feel like next year is going to be a year where we do go for some trophies. Because I feel like we can build on what we got. But anyway. The winners of the Premier League were Chelsea. They didn't go undefeated. They lost four in the end, but they did win the title quite convincingly. And to be honest, Leicester finished third, so we did lose the last game of the season to a really good team, so we can't really be... And you know what? Finishing seventh, I can't really be complaining about that. We did pretty well. Again, we finished with zero goal difference. You could tell what the issue is, and you could tell which area I'm definitely going to be looking at next, next year, and that is defence. The one player who I'm definitely not going to be displacing that defence, and I feel like he'd be mean for me to do it, is Nathan Wood. Because he was absolutely stupid. He was really good. He was the one player who I couldn't really say much about. Yes, he's had some awkward moments, but compared to like Cash, Thomas, or Kuto, they've all had big moments where I've been. I, I've had to substitute them off because they've been that bad. And I don't think I'll, I won't sell any of them. Um, the only thing I, I'm definitely going to be upgrading one of their spots. Possibly maybe selling Ebersele and maybe possibly selling one of the right backs. So maybe depending on what money we have next summer uh, before the next season. We may upgrade one of their positions or at least get someone who could find that position. But we'll see. But anyway, so we finished 7th in our first season on 52 points. Hopefully we can just, uh, from now on, just keep going up. But I think we, we've been very fortunate to do actually you look about. It's been very, like, we could have finished any, anything lower than ninth 
if we if if Leeds won, or we we'd be eighth or ninth by now. But anyway, it is what it is what it is. But there we are. Who won that? And it was Wolverhampton Wanderers. Okay. Uh, what about the Carabao Cup? Everton. So wow, none of the usual big boys you'd say have won it. Uh, let's look at the Super Cup, and it's Liverpool. Champions League. Who's won the Champions League? It's Liverpool. Hmm. That could be interesting. I don't know what that would mean for us. I don't know what that would mean. I don't know if that means fifth place goes into the Champions League and then it, sixth place goes into Europa League. On maybe so we may be in Europa. You never know. Uh, Milan win the, the Europa League and the UEFA Conference League. Obviously, we'd rather be in Europa League or something, but, you know, it's still a European competition. Napoli won that against Wolfsburg, so, interesting. And you still look, there's still some half-decent clubs in there, so, it's still a trophy we could win if we were in it, so. So, that is that. As you can tell, one behind Martial Kuna nearly got four golden boots in a row. That would have been just insane. But Martial... Won that. Werner was the closest behind both of them with 16. So, same with Fernandez and Jesus. Greenwood with 15. Jota with 14. And not many like outstanding goal scorers. I mean, Solomon, the guy I'm actually looking at maybe bringing in next summer. Uh, 14 goals. I mean, to be honest, about five of them was against us. Correa is top assistant in the league. But Vincent with 10. Unbelievable. And then Dupois with eight. That is so they are our highest ones in that. Clean sheets. Amos still got five clean sheets, even though we were absolutely awful. And I felt a bit sorry for him. So let's look at the stats. So our top goal scorer obviously is Raul Kuna with twenty one goals, four assists. I don't know, it seems like uh, there was a lot lower stats this year. It's strange. But he got he got 25 goals and assists in 38 games. Obviously, we got knocked out of the competitions in the first round. So, and obviously, there's a lot less lot games than there is in the Championship or League One. So, you got to think about that. But to game ratio, 25 goals and assists in 38 games isn't not bad. And then next best one is Gavi with 12, Grant with 11, Dupuis with nine, Cornu with five, and Vincent with four. I would, to be honest, I would have expected more from Vincent with goals, but uh, I feel like they'll come when he's, his overalls get better. I mean, Diallo got four. He's been pretty good. Wright got a few as well. He could be a very, very decent player for us next year. Really decent. The top assister is Lucas Vincent. So he's been the, the playmaker of the year easily. Uh, he's got up to six, 77 overall as well. That is just amazing. Charlie Depard behind him as well with eight. Dan Grant with seven. And Gavi with six. Uh, that is just very, very impressed with them, them guys. Even Jan Kuhn with four. Same with Thomas. Uh, Kuhn with four. And Ahmad Diaw. I thought he's done a real good job since he's come in. So, not bad at all, really, I've got to say. But, anyway. Let's get down to the award. So the first award is going to be the Youth Player of the Year. So obviously any player under the age of 23 is eligible for this award. So the first player is going to go to... It's going to go to Paul Amos, the first nomination. Just because, again, he's just been brilliant. He really, really has. He, he's kept us as in so many games. Made so many saves. Got five Premier League clean sheets. Even against the odds when we were so, so bad. But either way, he is definitely up for this award. The next one is going to be Pablo Gavi. This guy, it, he has had a few games, I've got to be honest. But probably more often than not when we've had our games, what have been good. This guy has been in the centre of it. He's been a great little midfielder, especially when I had to do that formation switch. I'm going to try and get him to back to a centre mid, but he, as long as it's one of his positions, it's fine. He plays absolutely fine there. Either way. He's been a brilliant player and he definitely deserves to be nominated. Another nomination goes to Lucas Vincent. Again, he's been our playmaker this year. I think the fact he's 18, he just he, I've, I've had to put a lot on his shoulders for a young lad. 
uh, more so I could focus on other areas to improve upon. But he's just took it on with a grain of salt, and he's just brilliant. Honestly, 18 year, years of age, 77 overall. This guy is going to be amazing. He's going to be brilliant. It's just by next year, hopefully, he's even in the 80s. That is what I hope. But this guy definitely deserves a nomination. And I'm going to break the rules and make it a fourth nomination. Usually, I only do three nominations for the youth player of the, of the year. But Charlie De Proud definitely, definitely deserves a mention because this guy dethroned Insana. It took him four seasons. But Charlie De Proud's not been here that long. But even then, this guy's come in and dethroned him, even though he was a lot lower rated than Insana. He even got basic Insana uh, out of the club. He was that doing that good, and his his stats show how good he's been. He's 20 years of age, 76 overall. He's up there with Vincent of being one of our best players. Honestly, this guy has got a long, long way to go, as well as he's got so much more to grow. Uh, but either way, hopefully we'll be able to see his growth. Hopefully he just keeps on growing and becomes one of Belgium's out and out stars for the future. But anyway, the winner. Of the youth player of the year is going to go to I'm actually gonna give it to Pablo Gavi it was very very close between him and Lucas Vincent and even Amos was very very close but what what made it is just how well controlled this guy is in midfield he is one of the best passers in in our team he, he just is good he's got a good shot on him as well and he just keeps getting better he's 83 overall he's 21 years of age as well We've got a lot of players who are still so, so young, but are getting so high rated. We're in the 70s and we're only like 20, 21, 22. So many players like that, and I can't wait to see how they grow. But this guy is at the centre of it, and I'm so happy we managed to get him. Our Chavi, our Pablo Gavi, he is the youth player of the year for season number five. The first nomination for the HPG award goes to... Paul Amos, who again kept us in so many games, said enough about him, he's just been brilliant. Nathan Wood, this guy has just been brilliant. He's just he's been one of our best defenders. A lot of these awards usually go to the goalkeeper or they go to an attacker mainly. I don't like doing that, I like giving everyone a bit of the share of the pie. And especially when I'm looking at it, Nathan Wood has been such a good defender for us. He's at 79 overall now, I'm really happy see by still growing he's gone up by four overall this season hopefully he just keeps going now but either way he deserves a nomination for this award this year lucas vincent's gonna get the third nomination he again has just been amazing he has been our playmaker our top assister and i would have expected a little bit more from him but again his age his overall i can't expect that much from him it's just because of how good he was in the championship but I, I feel like this is just the beginning of this lad, 18 years of age. But again, with the stats, he's just been amazing. And the last nomination is going to go to Raul Kuna, who, by the way, has just gone up to an 87. Unbelievable. He could actually get, be our first night rated player by next season. Unbelievable. But what a player. He's absolutely happy. I've got him down to a five-year contract as well, so we're never leaving him. He is never leaving. Uh, but either way... This guy with his stats, he's so close to getting four golden boots in a row. But I'm absolutely in love with this guy. Yes, he can absolutely foot me off at some games, the odd game. But you always do that with your star players. But this guy is amazing. I love him to bits. Sucks that he's not a real player, so I can't actually use him in, in future career modes. But that's what makes this so authentic and so new. Is that this, is, this guy is a completely new player. I, it's basically a player I've managed to develop and I've managed to make and that's what makes it so special to me But the winner of the HPG player of the year for season number five is going to go to It's I'm gonna give it to Raul Acuna because this guy has actually been Top-notch for us up top. He's had a, he had an iffy start. He's had an iffy few games But in the end his goals Got us where we are and he's got it and without him, I don't know where we'd be. I I, I actually don't. Because we've got this guy on a free transfer. I don't think we would have got anyone as good as him. But this guy, oh, I love him. I love him to bits. And he 100% deserves this award. 
And this guy might actually win the most uh, like play of the seasons at this rate. I'm gonna have to. I know. I think um, Sobersai holds the like the record for like three or four. I think Raul Kuna might already have about three or four. I think he might have three or two at the moment. So, but he's got a long way to. He's got a lot more seasons under his belt before he gets to that point. But either way, guys, that is gonna be it for season number five. I hope you have enjoyed the season. Again, we may have some uh, European football next season. We'll have to see. But uh, I can tell you already now, it is going to hit off next season. Hopefully, if we get a little bit of money, if we get a good budget, we should be sound. We should be able to make some good improvements on this team. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like the videos. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until the next episode, guys, take it easy. See you next time.